Hi, this is Frank here with Die Hard RC Addicts. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Today I've got another cool product to share with you guys from our sponsor, Hobby King. This is the Turnigy Trackstar 150 amp brushless car ESC. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at what comes with this ESC, and then we'll go ahead and put it in my Turnigy Trailblazer 8 scale monster truck and take it outside and give it a bashing. Here's just a quick look at how the ESC came packaged from Hobby King. Um, as you can see here, I went ahead and ordered the program card along with the ESC. Uh, this is not included with it, so I do strongly recommend getting one. It's only like a few dollars extra, and it makes it a whole lot easier to program the ESC once you get it in the vehicle. All right, let's go ahead and uh, open up the box and see what's inside there. And we'll go ahead and take a quick look. Um, there's lots of uh, information on the back of the box here about the ESC. Um, it does look pretty nicely packaged. But let's go ahead and get it out and see what's inside it. This is everything that was inside the box, and it includes the 150 amp brushless ESC, which you can see here doesn't come with any of the wires or connectors soldered on, so we'll definitely have to solder those on before putting it in the vehicle. At least it looks like it comes with the wire, and the wire is nice heavy 10 gauge wire. So like I said, we'll solder those on and get it in the vehicle. Also included is the instructions manual, which is in English. And it does include the instructions for programming the ESC if you decide not to get the program card. But I still recommend getting the program card because I definitely think it's going to be a whole lot easier to program it that way. Now let's just take a quick look at all the specs that were included on the back of the box. The ESC controls can be set up for forward and brake, forward, brake, and reverse. And it can handle the input of 2 to 6S lithium batteries. It shows here that the motor KV does need to be limited though if you're running 4S or higher. Um, it's, it's saying not to run higher than 2400 kV motors. Um, if you do, you're probably going to be risking a chance of burning up the ESC. The ohms resistance here is listed as 0 .0002, and it has a continuous amp rating of 150 amps with a burst rate of 950 amps. The built-in uh, BEC is a switching mode BEC, and it's rated at 5.7 volts at 3 amps, and it does come with a status LED on the ESC, that's three colors, uh, red, green, and orange. The dimensions of the ESC are 48.8 millimeters by 57.8 millimeters by 35.8 millimeters, and it weighs in at 88 grams without the wires. Let's go ahead and get everything soldered up, and I'll install it in my Turnigy Trailblazer, and we'll head outside and put it to the test. Okay guys, I got the ESC all soldered together. Um, I decided to go with some 6mm uh, bullet connectors from Hobby King. These are the XT150s and it fit up nicely into the car. Um, as you can see here, we're going to be running it on 4S for this first test. So uh, let me go ahead and get everything plugged in and then we'll go ahead and do some test runs.
Now that we've had a chance to put the ESC through its paces and give it a good bashing in my Turnagy Trailblazer, it's time to go over some quick thoughts with you guys. The first thing I noticed about the Turnagy Trackstar 150 amp ESC is after I got it out of the box, it appeared to be made of very high quality and looked like it was built to take punishment, especially with those big 10 gauge wires. There is one thing I would like to note here, that it does take quite a bit of heat to get these wires soldered onto the ESC, so I do recommend taking at least the top part of the plastic case off of this ESC when you solder it up, so you don't run into the chance of melting it. With that being said, it's time to move on to the performance of this ESC, and I have to say right off, I was quite surprised with how big a boost it gave me, especially on the bottom end. You could really tell the difference between this ESC and the 80 amp stock one that came in the truck, as it definitely seemed like it spinned all four tires a whole lot easier. Um, it just had a whole lot of bottom end power in this ESC. That and it just felt so much more responsive than the stock one. Overall I'd have to say that it performed flawlessly and was a great upgrade for this truck and I'm sure it would work well in other 8 scale vehicles requiring an ESC of this size. I'll be sure to put a link to this great performing ESC in the YouTube video information bar below the video for those guys out there that are interested in checking it out. Now I'd just like to say thanks for tuning into the video and I'd like to give Hobby King a special thanks for sponsoring us and see you guys again soon here on Die Hard RC Addicts.